Right now, it is time for the 14 day challenge. Look at this, look at this, look at this. 20K! Okay, so I never vlog before my meditation and yoga because I get too freaking excited. It is now 7.30, but I just have to say, yeah! <laughs> Thank you so much for believing in me and for subscribing and for being there. You have made a huge difference in my life. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. All the kisses for you. I'm going to record a video today for Saturday. But uh, so actually you've seen that one before you saw this one. But I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Yeah, meditation is very inspiring for vlogging, right? <laughs> I decided to not do yoga uh, instead of having breakfast. This is just some oatmeal with coconut milk and I'm too lazy to cut up this melon even though it's freaking delicious but I have a call now so I will first have this and then maybe later I will have the millet. I just washed my hair and now it's time to do something so wild, something so incredible, taxes! Yes! Actually, <laughs> I know it's very very boring but uh, for me it is, it is actually fun to do it because I can send out invoices and I can pay taxes and it's awesome. It is almost 3 p.m. and I am about to have lunch. This is what I'm having. Look at this, look at this, it's so pretty. I did some plating. You can see the Australian MasterChef skills over her. So <laughs> this is just a um, legume salad with some feta cheese and some falafel. How you let me know? I'm watching my old vlogs, so from more than a year ago from China. I really wanna go back to China. I shouldn't watch these vlogs because I wanna go everywhere again, so. But it's so much fun to watch this. Oh, I love vlogging, I love travel vlogging. It's so much fun. Holy mother flipping shit. Yes, I, was, I said shit because this is the best my curls have looked ever in my freaking life. I can't. So I wanted to straighten my hair. Guys, I know this is this is not important to you, but for a girl, this can be life-changing, seriously. So I was just about to straighten my hair and I was like, eh, eh, my curl looks my curls look quite good. So maybe I should just wear them curly. My friend Rose, the only girl who from now on is allowed to touch my hair ever, ever again. She gave me this last time I was there. So, what is this? This, I don't know if you can read it. Ref, ref, three, four, five, reference of Sweden, fiber mousse. So I thought, nah, nah, never hurts to try, let me try it. So I put the mousse in my hand. I should have filmed it, man. Put the mousse in my hand and it was like really fibery and stuffy and I was like, crap, this is gonna make my hair so, um, I don't know, so droopy or whatever, and greasy and ugh. No, it did this to my mother flipping curls. Look at that, look at that, look at my curls, what the F? If you have curls, you need this in your life. I have to, I have to make a disclaimer, I did use a diffuser to curl it even more, but this, this is life. This is life. This is insane balls. I'm going to be making like 500 selfies today. <gasps> I love my girls. Oh, what? What? Ros, she Ros, Salon, Almeida. You need to go there if you have curls or if you want long hair. Best hairdresser I've had in my life. I'm just watching a Bollywood movie. Kaho Naho. It is freaking awesome. When will you see this vlog? Next week. Oh, uh, Wednesday. So last Sunday's video with the Bollywood movie. Oh no, he's dying. I just recorded two videos. One about, well, how to be happy. Like one of my biggest secrets. It's not a secret, but I've never really thought about it. And it has made such an impact on my life when you're watching this. It's last Saturday's video, if you haven't seen it yet. Also, I recorded uh, another Road Back to India video, which was so much fun. I watched the movie Kaho Naho. Loved it so much. Right now, it is time for the 14 day challenge because your girl, I've been trying to eat more healthy. I've been trying um, to work out more. 
up until now I've succeeded to work out only once a week so I would like to make that four times a week we have 14 days exactly 14 days before we're flying off to the south of Spain and I would really like to feel comfortable again in my bikini because right now you guys are gonna think I'm saying I'm fat no I'm not fat but I just yeah I'm fluffy I don't like it so this is the before this is the before and I'm gonna use it right before I leave don't mind the mess so this is the before at the end of the day I've eaten quite a lot because I was hungry before the workout and I can't well I can work out on an empty stomach but only in the morning so this is my tummy this is what it looks like no I am not saying I'm fat I'm just saying I feel fluffy and I don't like feeling fluffy so this is when I when I crunch my abs roar Mm, my tummy is quite full. So this is the most awful light I can find in my house because for me that's the most inspirational thing. Well, actually, no, it's not. But, you know, I think it will work better if I just grab, like, the worst version I can have. And then in the morning, always, like, when you've slept, when you went to the toilet, when your body's a little bit dehydrated. Because that's what the Victoria's Secret angels do before the show. They don't drink or they drink, like, barely two days before the show because it makes your muscles stick to your body and you can oh no no it makes your skin stick to your body when your body's a little bit dehydrated don't do that it's it's not nice but it always makes your body look better in the morning because you're a little bit dehydrated that's why you should always drink water in the morning your body's dehydrated right now i'm going to do the workout help me push through this <laughs> oh hell no i'm working out like this let me just put on a t-shirt <laughs> I survived the first set. Awesome. 30 seconds. Wall sit. Whew. If you're new to my channel, you might be thinking that I'm just doing something. I actually know what I'm doing. <laughs> I had a mission before my 30th birthday. I'm 32 now. To get a Victoria's Secret body. Kind of succeeded. You just roll down to my, through my uh, Instagram timeline for the picture with my brother. I had two abs right here, like rock hard abs, but um, uh, they really make me happy. So I don't have to be like perfectly trained, but I don't like being fluffy either. Cause it's just not healthy, but already yes, 30 seconds. Whew, thank you for helping me out. Now. Only five more sets to go, yay! Finished the workout and it went quite well, if I may say so myself. Hello, Ranomi, you need to be silent for a little bit. Justin Bieber, you too. Do I love your song? It, it was quite all right, I have to say, but the legs are not a problem. Tomorrow I'll be doing arms, so I want to do six sets of 10 push ups. I think that's a little bit too ambitious, but we'll see tomorrow. Right now I'm cooking dinner, I'm so freaking late. I'm making the buckwheat pasta with pumpkin. Mm. There we go, dinner. So just buckwheat pasta with pumpkin and I've added some extra cottage cheese for the protein. Nom, nom, nom. I can hardly finish my food, man. It's really too late for me to eat. This seriously has become one of my favorite moments of the day. So I just lay in bed a little bit and I read. And Anna Karenina. I have to say, I was quite upset. Maybe, I don't know, because I've been reading too much of those love books or whatever. But the moment that she and the guy kiss, or, you know, for the first time do things that they're not supposed to do, Tolstoy completely skips it. Like, excuse me? Like, you build up to this moment for over 100 pages and then you just skip it? How? Oh, that's quite upsetting, but um, nevertheless, it's quite an interesting book. So I'm just gonna read a little bit and then call it a day. If you want to travel along with me, click that subscribe button. And if you like this vlog, you can put a thumbs up. Thank you so much for joining me today and I will see you next time. Bye.